Hi everyone, it's Mickey Huntington with Quick Tips number five. Everyone reacts to stress differently, and today's focus is on staying well and mental health resources to help manage stress and anxiety. Let's start with a quick check-in. How are you doing? In addition to school, work, family, and other responsibilities, it's helpful to set aside time to take a break, whether it's just for a minute or two with some deep breaths or a little longer. For example, I like to start my day with a nice cup of coffee or tea. And if you can step outside safely and away from others, you might go for a short walk or a jog. Texting a loved one or someone you haven't caught up with in a while is another idea. And try to eat healthy, well-balanced meals and get plenty of sleep as well. Once again, everyone reacts differently to stressful situations. Taking care of yourself, your friends, and your family can help you cope with stress. And helping others cope with their stress can also make our community stronger. A reminder to let you know that we have links to mental health resources available through our website at www.minneapolis.edu. You'll see the yellow banner in the center of our website, and you can click on COVID-19 information and resources for learning online. When the new window opens, go ahead and click on student resources. Scroll down to mental health resources where you'll find a variety of helpful information to include a link to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for Mental Health Resources for Managing Stress and Anxiety. They offer a list of things you can do to support yourself, such as take breaks from watching, reading, or listening to news stories, including social media. For some, hearing about the pandemic repeatedly can be upsetting. Take care of your body. Take deep breaths, stretch, or meditate. Try to eat healthy, well-balanced meals, exercise regularly, get plenty of sleep, and avoid alcohol and drugs. Make time to unwind and try to do some other activities you enjoy. Connect with others and talk with people you trust about your concerns and how you're feeling. Finally, call your healthcare provider if stress gets in the way of your daily activities for several days in a row. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quick tips coming soon. Take care and be well.